welcome everyone it is now possible to downgrade ios 15.7.2 back to ios 15.6 you'd want to do this because there is a kernel bug which was patched in 15.7.2 but works on the older 15.6 so you do need a computer windows or mac i'm going to move to my computer and then we can do the downgrade for windows users you will need to download itunes this is built into mac os so you're going to scroll down and you're going to see looking for other versions click on windows then click on download itunes for windows now and once this is downloaded set it up and then you will need to restart the computer regardless of your computer we're going to head over to the iphone wiki beta software uh, this may be a different website in the description depending on when you're watching so we're going to find where it says iphone and uh, we're going to click on the 15.x of course if you have ipod find ipod same with ipad ipad mini ipad Air pro and then once we're on this page we're going to select our model so i have iphone 7 you're going to scroll down and you're going to see 15.6 rc this is the one that's signed 15.6 rc2 is unsigned same with 15.7 so just use the 15.6 here and then you're going to click on this .ipsw and then the firmware file will start downloading so I've already downloaded it so I'm going to cancel this download here so once the firmware file has downloaded and if you have a Windows computer uh, once you have downloaded iTunes what we're going to do is on the Windows we're going to open up iTunes and on the Mac we're going to open up the Finder so on iTunes, it says, do you want to allow this computer to access information? So you need to take your iPhone to the home screen. There'll be a trust prompt. Just tap on trust. Now we'll click on continue. And we should see the iPhone show up here any moment now. And then with Finder, you should see an iPhone icon. Just click on that. So we see the software 15.7.2. So the downgrade, we're not going to lose any data, but we need to do a certain key combination. So on the Windows, you're going to hold down the Shift key, and while holding down the Shift key, you're going to left-click, check for update. And for Mac, you're going to hold down the Option key. While holding down the Option key, you left-click the Update or Check for Update button. We're going to select the 15.6, click on Open, and before we proceed, if you're watching this video and you're on iOS 16 trying to downgrade, you will boot loop. So only follow this video if you're running iOS 15. There is a way to downgrade iOS 16 to 15 uh, using the 15.6 RC, but that's a different method. And I'll have that tutorial in the description. Uh, so don't you know follow this guide if you're on iOS 16. As you can see, the downgrade was successful. Let's look at the phone itself. All right, so if we go to the About Page Settings. Boom, iOS 15.6 RC. And because it's an RC, you won't have that beta message show up. So I'll have a playlist in the description with a bunch of customization you can do on the 15.6 RC without the aid of a jailbreak. Bye-bye.